I'm Troy Kirby with Linwood Today with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The 2021 Washington State Legislature's House of Representatives focused on economic recovery on January 19th. The Committee on Housing, Human Services, and Veterans held a public hearing on House Bill 1151. Sponsored by the committee's chair, 21st District Representative Strom Peterson, the legislation focuses on bolstering the state's economic recovery by providing Washington citizens with a one-time cash benefit and transitional food assistance to certain qualifying households. We all know that families are struggling due to the health and economic hardships caused during COVID-19. COVID-19 has ripped away jobs and security and the need for free food in Washington state has doubled. One in five Washingtonians have food security challenges. I'm here today to speak on the urgent importance of modernizing Washington state standard of need. This outdated measure is hurting families by ignoring real cost increases. Uh, the whole idea of section two in this bill is to provide that same smoother transition for people who are only receiving basic food assistance, otherwise known as food stamps, as they ex exit the program. So right now, if you're getting basic food, but not TANF, and you trip over that eligibility line, you really get tossed over a cliff is what happens. But what people often don't talk about is what it's like when the water is shut off or when they're rationing diapers for their babies. I'm a member of the Poverty Reduction Work Group Steering Committee, and I'm a single father of two girls. I live with a disability and use TANF to help make ends meet. Programs like TANF should help families meet their basic needs. The current way DSHS calculates it, as we all heard, is, is cal calculates its grant amount is outdated and it doesn't reflect the expenses of a family in 2021, for, like for Wi-Fi and cell phones, like I was saying. Um. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by Linwood Today, covering the 2021 legislative session.